the go home show for SmackDown for Elimination Chamber, and the show was kind of meh. I'm Boss of Basics, I'm back to it in another video, and today I'm back to it in another video, and yes, I'm doing a SmackDown reveal with my Elimination Chamber predictions. Um, <clears throat> I do want to say something. Um, Rush Lambeau, I think that's how you pronounce his name, controversial, you know, talk show host, passed away um, this weekend. Oh boy, that he was not a nice person. No, right up on it, kids. He said a lot, a lot of mean things. I hope he's burned in hell for what he did because he was not a good individual. He was toxic. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's let's start with the review proper. And yes, I will be doing um, my top ten favorite and my top ten worst elimination chamber matches. Yes, there might be some nitpicking and some bias, but I mean, there's been some ten duds, so. Anyways, yeah, well, I'll talk about that in the next video. So, edges in the ring, you know, you know, talking about like what, like what will happen at Mania and all that stuff, and then Roman comes down and you know saying about like Edge, your Edge is playing mind games and all this stuff, and he might be going to Raw and facing Drew, which I will be all for, uh, but if he faces Roman, I wouldn't be that, but. I wouldn't be mad, but let me talk about that here in a little bit. Um, Uso and Heyman are there as well, I should have mentioned. And, you know, Heyman comes down, or well, Roman, Heyman, and Jay come out. Jamin, if you will. Jamon. Um, they come down and all that stuff. And then all of a sudden, Sami Zayn comes down. Um, Zayn's, uh, Zayn's, you know, Fidel Castro look. And, you know, the gimmick he's got, it's kind of interesting, but a little bit weird. But he's doing the best what he could, and I think it's pretty cool. So, yeah, he's saying that, you know, he's going to Mania and all that stuff. And then Jay Super kicks him, and then... And then Roman whispers something in uh, Edge's ear, so we're gonna see what he said later on. Um, Big E on commentary at ringside in a couch in a foot massager looking very comfortable. He really looked comfortable. Uh, we get the first match. Apollo versus Nakamura. This was actually the match of the night. Like, this was the best, like, well-worked, well-wrestled match of the night. The main event was too, but it got very sloppy. Um, it goes for a little bit. Um, in the end, Apollo um, gets caught in an arm bar, but then gets rolled up with a cradle. One, two, three. Okay, Nakamura wins. And then Apollo just... Apollo snaps, he attacks Nakamura, threatens to hit him with steps, Big E says no, you know, back off and all that stuff. And then Apollo, Pearl Harbor's him, famous line from um, the great um, Gorilla Monsoon, rest in peace Gorilla Monsoon. That and Bobby the Brain, he knew one, my personal favorite manager and the best commentator. Well, probably in the 80s and 90s, but you, you, you get what I'm saying. So, yeah, Apollo, you know, just beating Big E. Big E with no shoes on. That's kind of a health hazard thing, but whatever. Matt really gets to do it, so Big E gets a pass as well. So, yeah, um, Apollo throws the steps on the Big E that's on the outside and, you know, clearly doesn't hit him. And it trains here. Hello! I, I am always going to be doing that when a train goes by because I am weird and stupid like that. And plus, I like Seinfeld. So yeah, Big E gets stretchered out. Okay, this this was good stuff. I'm I'm wondering what they're going to do next with Apollo. Um, and then Rollins shows up, you know, saying he was going to sue the Law Rocker, not the Raw Locker Room, the SmackDown Locker Room, and all that stuff. It's probably going to lead to a few between him and Cesaro, which I'll be all for. Um, a best of five series between those two guys. I'm down. I'm down for that. They're both great athletes. Uh, Rollins' fashion choice was a bit interesting. He looked... He was dressed in all silk. Silk Rollins. Like, it's like silkworm, but except 
the worm had a weird goatee and man bun. And a black plus, I don't know. If he's still doing this whole messiah thing, which I am actually not a, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I did appreciate it and Rollins going all out with it. So then, um, and then we get the Riot Squad versus Tamina and Natalia. A snooker around three women. Hopefully she did take stairs like her dad did. Yeah, I'm not apologizing for that because look at what Jimmy Snooker did back in 1992. Because, you know, looking back at Jimmy Snooker's career, that doesn't get terrifying. So, yeah. I mean, it goes for a little bit. I mean, Liv had to sell for Tamina. And I don't know why Tamina got the pin here. Natalia should have. But, I mean, Tamina hit a nice, like, black hole slam like maneuver. Like, she held him, held her, like, a World's Strongest Slam, and then did, like, a, um, like, a Boss Man Slam, which, that, that was kind of cool. And then, like, Billy Kane comes down and, you know, tries to, you know, win. I don't know what they're doing with Billy Kane here. Like, I, I literally don't know. Like, if she wasn't a tag team, then she wasn't, and she's trying to get into a tag team. Just let her do solo stuff. Seriously. I get it, you're trying to, you know, spice things up with the raw, uh, with the women's tag team titles, which, mean dick and all at this point, but, I'm curious what they're gonna do on NXT. So, yeah, Tamina super kicks Billy, okay, whatever. Um, and then, Edge mocked Corbin, which was pretty funny, I will admit, because, I'm not gonna be bashing Corbin for, you know... Like, he's not the worst wrestler. He's actually a pretty good wrestler. He's just not interesting. Not going to bash him as a character. Not going to bash him as a person. Just, like, the character... It's not the worst. It, it, it just, Corbin needs some personality. And we need a reason... We need a reason to care about him. Because this whole King thing, it, it, it backfired. It backfired immediately. But Corbin's dedicated to it. And you know what? I got to give the devil his due, so... Um, and then Sasha and, um, or wait, no, actually, we got a ding dong hello, um, that, it's a whole Saturday Night Live thing with Bailey, and it, she tries, but it doesn't click with me, it doesn't congeal with me, uh, with, uh, Shayna Baszler and Nia, with her superior immune system, by the way, Nia made the comment that Bianca is not the sexiest, but she is. Now, if you guys know me, and you know my taste of women, you know, I like, I like big women. Just gonna say that right now, because I clearly I am not weird enough as it is, but for those of you who know me personally, then, yeah. But for those of you who don't, hello, I just exposed myself, you know, but not like that, I'm not Velveteen Dream. Um, yeah. Naya, you were probably back in 2016, 2015. Now you're just a walking, talking statue. Basically it. Like, okay, yeah, you were good looking back in the day, but that was five years ago. Seriously, I, I don't get it. I mean, yes, I do prefer, I do have a taste in those kind of women, but I was dumb back then. I'm still dumb now, but I was what? 12, 15? Or not, not, no, I was 15 three years ago. And it feels like three years ago. But yeah, this is this is weird. I, I'm, I'm moving on. Oh, uh, Reginald comes down. You know, I'm guess trying to flirt with her, I guess? I, I don't know. And also, if you see reflections coming off of my, uh, off of my glasses because I'm watching iCarly right now. And yes, that show's on Netflix. I'm excited. Um, and then Bianca and Sasha come down and all that stuff. Six-man tag. Reginald pinned Nia. Because why the hell not? I, I honestly don't know. Like, Reginald... I don't know what they're doing with him. I seriously don't know. The guy... Is fantastic. He's a he's a great athlete. He has a great background in um in uh, gymnastics. The guy can work. They just don't know what they're doing with him. Like, are they making him Carmelo's lackey? 
like a like a DiBiase Virgil like thing. I'll talk about that here in a little bit, but but yeah, like Reginald moves out of a leg drop by Naya, and then Sasha um drop kicks you know Reginald onto Naya, and Naya I think was supposed to kick out at two, but she didn't, and she kicked out at three. So, I don't know. So, yeah. Reginald pinned Naya, which was funny to me. Um, and then, um, Cesaro talks about Seth's attack and then talks with Edge and all that stuff. And then we get Alpha Academy versus Mysterious. Alpha Academy is Chad Gable and us. And the Dirty Dogs, a.k.a. Rune and Ziggler, the tag champions are on competition. What the hell was this match? I'm, I'm still confused. Did Otis turn heel? Did Otis and Gable turn heel? Okay, so what happened was... Is that Otis, I think, tagged Gable, but couldn't get out of the ring. And he was just splashing Ray. Not like that. Like, he was, like, jumping on. He was hitting, like, splash. Like, he kept. He kept. Ugh. I'm trying not to make this weird. But he kept, like, he kept hurting Ray when he wasn't the legal man. So... I guess it went to a no contest because I don't. I literally don't know what happened. I seriously don't know what happened. And the, even the commentary was confused. So Otis turns heel. I guess he hits a top rope splash on Ray, which okay. I I have no idea what happened. I probably lost, I lost brain cells watching this segment because this was just bizarre. Then Carmella di uh, disciplines Reggie. A white woman disciplines a black man. Fox News at 11. I made a comment on that. People people thought it was funny. Yeah, because Fox News, yeah, they don't... They, considering their beliefs, they probably don't like those type of people. Um, and then, you know, Cesaro, Nakamura... Or, not Nakamura. Cesaro, Daniel Bryan, and Kayla were backstage. They talk about all the betrayals. Like, betrayed Sammy. He, they mentioned they betrayed uh, Jericho by talking, like, about the list and all that stuff, which I thought was pretty cool. And then we get a six-man tag. Uh, Sami Zayn, Baron Corbin, and Jey Uso versus Daniel Bryan, Kevin Owens, and Cesaro on commentary. Or, no, not commentary. Jesus. Six-man tag. Edge is on commentary. Then Heyman joins later. Before the commercial break, Cesaro was getting ready to swing Corbin, but but couldn't because he was, like, exhausted. So they tumbled him and went to break. Then when, they, when we came back from break, Cesaro was swinging Corbin. I don't get that, but, you know, in the end, uh, Daniel Bryan taps out Zayn, and then this whole sequence is bizarre. It was kind of like that bizarre sequence on NXT. Uh, Baron Corbin, like, Baron Corbin, I think, missed his cue and went too early. And then Baron Corbin gets into the ring, hits into the days of Daniel Bryan, and then a stunner to Corbin, and then an exploder to Kevin Owens, Uppercut to Sammy, a super kick to Cesaro, a spear to Uso, Edge spears Uso, and then Rain spears Edge and then cut to black. Okay. You're hyping up the Elimination Chamber, which I am... Which, that would be... That... The ending was messy, but I can tell what they're doing. So yeah, that was SmackDown. Um, I'm sorry for the weird intervals. It was... <laughs> I'm I'm a weird individual, and you guys know that. So, anyways, with my elimination chamber 2021 predictions, um, this match was added on the card just uh, just last night. Baszler and Jax versus Banks and Belair for tag titles. Obviously, Baszler and Jax are winning. There's no reason for them to lose because they're probably going to defend against Lana and Naomi maybe on Raw. Next Monday, and then they're going to defend against Raquel and um, Dakota on March third. So yeah, uh, Lashley versus Riddle versus Lee. Maybe Lee might not be there due to injury, but that just could be a kayfabe thing. Um, Lashley's winning because you could probably save Lashley versus Keith Lee at Mania for the U.S. title, and. Uh, Maybe you could start a program with Drew. Well, that kind of ruined my prediction for the next match. So, yeah. We'll, we'll see what they do for that. Uh, Drew versus Orton versus Styles versus Sheamus versus Hardy versus Kingston. WWE title match. Drew's winning. 
I would let someone else pin Sheamus, but if you do let Drew pin Sheamus at the Chamber, that gets set up probably their Mania match. Or maybe their match at Fastlane, because if they have their match at Fastlane, I don't know who Drew's going to face at Mania. Um, and then we get um, Uso versus Owens versus Daniel Bryan versus Sami Zayn versus King Corbin versus Cesaro. We're going to face Roman I probably like, probably the next match um, for the Universal title. Um, Owens is going to win, and then Reigns is going to come down. It'll probably be a three- or five-minute squash, and Reigns is going to win. So, yeah. Um, also, on the Wikipedia page, it said that Asuka and, Asuka and Evans are still going to be going. However, Dave Meltzer on Wrestling Observer Live said that match is not happening. So, I don't know if Asuka got took off the car due to Lacey going, Lacey's pregnant, or Asuka will face somebody, but it'll be an open challenge. So, I don't know. I'm kind of iffy 50-50 on that. So, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I am Basso Basics. I'm joining the herd. I'll talk to you guys next video. Peace out.